All right, continuing our discussion of uh, molecular geometries, we have three more that we need to look at, and these all have six groups of electrons around the central atom. So our options here would be six bonds, no lone pairs, five bonds, one lone pair, four bonds, and two lone pairs. Okay, so let's go back to our models. So this is where we ended. We want to take off our lone pairs and make sure we have... Here we go, six bonds, no lone pairs. So as you can see, we have four that stick out in the middle, okay, and then two up and down. Um, and no matter which way we turn it, all the bond angles are 90 degrees, okay? And we call this geometry octahedral. Now I know octo means eight. Um, think of it like this. If you were to close in this shape, there would be eight faces because it's a square pyramid on the top and a square pyramid on the bottom. So you would have an eight-sided three or um, eight-sided solid structure. So let's fill in what we have here. So our uh, electron domain geometry is octahedral and also molecular geometry. And all of our bond angles are 90 degrees, okay? Now, if we replace one of our bonds with a lone pair, <clears throat> what's going to happen is the lone pair will end up being um, one of the points of our two pyramids. So what we get is now a square pyramidal shape. So you can see the base of the pyramid is a square, and then we would have the pyramid part right there. Okay, and our bond angles will be a little bit less than 90 because that lone pair will repel our electrons. So octahedral, and this one is square pyramidal. And less than 90 degrees. Okay, and then our last geometry if we were to put another lone pair on here, it has to go opposite of the first lone pair so that it has as much space as possible. So when we take off a bond and add a lone pair, you'll notice that the two lone pairs are opposite of each other, which leaves our um, molecule to be flat. And if we look at it head on, it's in the shape of a square. So we call it square planar. It's flat, all the bonds are on the same plane and it's in the shape of a square, so we call it square planar. All of our bonds are exactly 90 degrees, okay? So we'll finish filling this in. Octa octahedral, square planar, 90 degree bond angles, okay? All right, so what you're going to need to do now is using this chart, which is part of your notes, um, is to be able to look at a dot structure and figure out what its geometry is. So when you dot, draw the dot structure, then you would look at the central atom, count how many bonds, how many lone pairs, and that's going to tell you the molecular geometry and um, the bond angle involved in that particular structure. Okay, So... <clears throat> Um, we're going to work on that part in class. If you're not going to be in class on Wednesday, please come see me so I can give you the assignment. Um, that, but you will use this chart in order to do all of the assignments for the rest of the week. Um, you don't have to memorize all of these. You will be given this chart on the test. You'll have a, a printed out version on the test. You just need to know what to do with it.